Hello, Dairy Today viewers. On behalf of the Market 360 Advisors here at Sewer Peterson, I'm Tom Mongolvin, and this is your Week in Review for the week of January 18th, 2013. Let's take a look at our dairy components. A lower week this week for cheese with blocks and barrels both settling down just over three cents on the week. Butter was higher to close just over 150. Whey was also higher this week, and non-fat dry milk was lower. Milk prices were lower this week thanks in large part to a sell-off on Friday ahead of the three-day weekend. Taking a look at the changes on the week, February down 33 cents to close at 17.28. March took the brunt of the pain this week to close almost 60 cents lower to 17.12. And the 2013 average settled a dime lower on the week to close at 18.12 at the conclusion of Friday's trade. The black barrel average finished lower for the second consecutive week this week. The average was flat on Monday and then dripped lower throughout the rest of the week to finish about three cents lower on Friday morning at 166 and a quarter. As you can see from the chart, the recent low from a couple weeks back that comes in at 165.25 will act as a support level for now. And if we break through that level next week, that could mean lower prices. However, if the price holds, which it could as, as Oceana is still at 181, prices could start to gain momentum to the upside. Here we have a chart of February milk on a weekly basis. As you can see, a strong downward channel here has developed over the past several weeks. We have seen sell-offs like this in the past, but this most recent sell-off looks to be the most severe. With a strong price action on the feed side of things, it looks like we could be due for a bounce of some sort in the short term. Over the latest week ended January 16th, Cheese stocks decreased 699,000 pounds to 116.6 million pounds. We had seen four consecutive weeks of rising inventories, so this week's number breaks that trend. The current inventory level of 116.6 million pounds is 15.8% lower than the 138.6 million pounds that were in inventory this same week in 2012. The first weekly dairy cow slaughter number for 2013 was 12% lower than the first reported number from 2012. The slaughter for the first week in January comes in right here at 51,100 head. It looks like a trend of lower slaughter numbers is developing when you take into consideration the fact that it was 43,100 head just a week earlier. Time will tell if this is a new trend or just a two week anomaly due to the Christmas and New Year holidays. Coming up next week, keep in mind that the markets are closed on Monday for Martin Luther King Jr. Day. Tuesday, we have a cold storage report, and then on Wednesday will be the milk production report. That will do it for us. From the advisors of Stuart Peterson, thanks for watching and have a great weekend.